Okay, let's talk about squeegees and what the durometer is and what it means. Now there's a number of different types of squeegees from a single durometer to a triple durometer, even a dual durometer. But what I mainly want to talk about today is the single durometer squeegees, which Chromaline sells. By the way, these squeegees are made in Europe and Europe has some pretty high standards on what a squeegee is supposed to be. So let's just take a look at a few of them right now. This is known as a single durometer squeegee. If you notice, it's just one color. This one has to be a 60 durometer. What that means is the softness. The lower the number, the more flexible it is. It's like this one here. Flex is pretty easy. This one, pretty stiff. All the way up to this one, which is a blue squeegee. It's an 80 durometer. It's really stiff. Now, why would you have different squeegees? Well, if you want to deposit a lot of ink on your screen, I should say on your image, a softer durometer is going to do it for you because it flexes more. It lets the ink get pushed through the mesh a little bit easier. The higher the number, the less ink is going to go down. Say you're doing something that, that requires some real high resolution. You're using high mesh counts or whatever. It's not a bad idea to maybe go to a 80 durometer or a 70 durometer. 60 might actually be a little bit too soft for that. So you do have your choices, but I will tell you this. Most people are going to use 60 or 70 durometer, these two. These are going to be your go-to squeegees. Now, Chromaline supplies these squeegees with a handle and it would be already made for you. Also, what I like to do, but I like rounding the corner off on my squeegees. Because that little sharp edge, like on this one, may actually damage your screen a little bit. So why not get the wrong one like this? It'll last longer. And by the way, how long will a squeegee last? A long time. Not just a couple days. These will last for years as long as you keep them in good shape. Keep them clean and dry them and try not to abuse these edges. Let's go into a triple durometer. Well, what is a triple durometer? Basically, they're the same durometers as these three, single, except they are sandwiched. I should say, they sandwich another durometer on the inside. This one has to be a 90 durometer. Remember, the higher the number, the stiffer it is. These triple durometer, they will also work for, for our, uh, almost any type of printing, as well as the single one. It's just that the triple durometer will be supplied uh, without a handle. You buy them by the roll. Okay, so why would someone want to use a triple durometer? Many automatic press operators, their squeegees are gonna be the triple durometer. And one of the reasons is, imagine this as being from an automatic machine. This width is important because if it's automatic press, you got ink in there, it's going back and forth, back and forth. It'll keep ink from getting up on up here, plus it still gives the rigidity you need. Whereas this one here doesn't have the same rigidity. Even though it's 60 durometer, this triple durometer, this spine on the inside, keeps it a little bit stiffer, except for the very edge of the squeegee. This. Just one solid thing. So triple durometers, they'll work for textile printing. They'll work for anything, as will these single durometer. It's a matter of what you want to use. Again, most uh, automatic press operators use the triple durometer. So anyway, textile printers are going to be using the 60 and 70 durometer almost all the time. Again, these are your go-to squeegees. Can be confusing, but you know what? When in doubt, just call Chromaline. Well, I have a little tech tip for you. A lot of people will screen print like this. You know how my hands are? Believe it or not, if you go like this, spread your fingers out, it gives you more control, more power you're not going to get as tired or arm weary by going back and forth with your squeegee over time. Go like this, you're going to get tired. Just a little tech tip. Whoa! Noisy. 